All right, video three, reason 4.0, leading up to our finale. All right, so now finally we're going to go ahead and start sequencing the track. As you can see, I got my mixer created, and it's already connected to the hardware interface. Okay, so I'm going to right-click on there, and I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a red drum computer. I think I want to use a hip-hop kit, so I'm going to hit my folder. I'm going to go down here to the hip-hop kits. Choose one. All right, I'm gonna audition it. Okay, I can actually go to the next kit by hitting the down arrow here. I like that. Some old gritty sounds there. Okay. So I'm gonna set up my tempo here. Just kind of hit play here. Let's just do a gritty track. Okay, so. Okay, we'll just write it like that. So we go here. Now what I'm gonna do is go down here to the loop button. Okay. Now I'm going to loop. I'm gonna do a four bar for simplicity. Loop. Most people do the tracks in two bar loops, four bar loops, eight bar loops, sixteen bar loops, whatever pleases you will be fine. Okay. Now if I have my quantize during recording button on. I can actually go here to my tool window. If you don't have your tool window up, you just go to window, hit show tool window, or F8 on your keyboard. Okay, so go to tools. I also got a groove button here where we can actually do some live type stuff. I'm gonna go to tools and go to quantize during recording. And we're gonna put it at about, we're gonna leave it at 100% for now. And then later on, I'll change it and switch it up so you can hear the difference. I'm going to eventually put this on MPC swing, okay? But for now, we use these four bars, okay? Now, normally I do eight bars because it gives me room to play around with some things. And you can do everything on one track or you can create another lane and have the kick on there. So, for now, I'm going to do everything on one track. I mean, separately. Okay, separate tracks. All right, hit record. Okay, I'll turn. I turn my click off now because I got something to go with. But right now everything is quantized at 16. Alright, now I want to add my snare. Alright, so I'm gonna hit the lane right here, plus. And as I go to be organized, I like to name my tracks. It'll help later. Trust me. Okay, right here I'm gonna have my snare. Alright. So let's start it off here. Only thing I got on is my pre over here. And then also your volume. Well, your click is here so you can turn it up or down all right Accidentally hit the snap, which sounds pretty cool, but it's the wrong sound. Man. So you can actually double click on your clip. That's that snap there. Highlight it and then just delete it. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to my arranged window and let's do some hi hats here. Go ahead and name that. Right. I like these samples because they sound really dirty here. Here we go. Okay, 
Let's undo that. I was not at the beginning. Okay, so we delete it. Hit stop twice. Let's go hit again. <laughs> I hit. All right, let's do like a little breakbeat type thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new lane by hitting plus. Hit stop twice to go to the beginning. Now it's important that you save. All right, we're gonna save. Save three. Okay. I have a place where I save everything at, so go here to the Mac Drive, and that's fine. Okay. All right. So now let's say I got my beat, but I do want to do eight bars. Real simple. Just click this, highlight it. All right, if you're on a Mac, option, click, and drag. Okay. All right, so now that I got my grid button on here, if I undo that and I take the grid button off, and I go option, click, and drag, it's not going to land exactly where I want it to land. If I have this grid button on, and I hit option, click right here. See how it's snapping? All right. Let your mouse go first. And let it go. The mouse and then come up off the option key. On the PC, it's control, click, and drag. Okay, that will give you that. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm, I'm going to expand my loop. All right. So let's play and see what we got. I can actually adjust the volume of each instrument here. As you can see as these play buttons light up, that mean that it's being played. Now the default sounds are pretty much tuned. Okay, so thing in production that you want to learn how to do is tune your drums. Okay. So if I change to here, it changes the whole dynamic. So in the next video, we're going to add some more instruments.